Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Oh, welcome back everyone and happy Friday to you. That's an exciting thought knowing that we've made it to the end of another work week. It's still going to be another hot day, but great weather is on the way. Now it's not as cool as we would like it to be for today or even through this weekend, but that cooler weather will be here soon. And I'll tell you more about it once I get to that part of my forecast. But for now it is a warm morning, still a little bit humid. Our temperatures are at 70 now. Winds are out of the east southeast direction at eight miles per hour is 71 in Morgan City, 72 in New Iberia and also so in Gonzales. Now highs for today will be reaching the upper 80s once again. So all you need for today is your water, your sunscreen. If you have plans to, sp to spend an extended amount of time outside, especially if you're going to the fair that's going on for the next few days or any other outdoor activities for this week and also for this weekend. And we're looking at only a 10% chance of showers for today. So we've had dry weather for the last few days and that's still going to be continuing through the weekend. Any isolated showers that did occur over the last day or two, we're pretty much closer to the coast. Now as we go throughout the rest of our Friday, could see an isolated shower or two, but again, just looking like most of us will be staying dry. Those easterly, southeasterly winds will be continuing to bring in that warm air and more moisture. And that's also been influenced by that ridge of high pressure that we've been under for the last few days, keeping us with these type of weather conditions. We've just been warm and also mostly dry. Now overnight lows will be in the mid 60s, mostly clear sky. Winds will still be out of the east-southeast direction for tonight. No rain for this evening or even for your Saturday. Just another dry and hot day. Highs will be reaching the mid to upper 80s once again. But if you have plans to watch Southern play, they play Texas Southern game kicks off at 4 p.m. for tomorrow. Again, just like today, all you need for tomorrow is just enough water pack to keep yourself hydrated, sunscreen, sunglasses, and try to go inside as frequently as you can to take some breaks out of the higher heat. But just looking at a warm day with good conditions for the game, and highs will still be staying in the upper 80s range as we go into Sunday. So if you have plans to do any trick or treating, just know it'll still be pretty warm during the day and even going into the evening hours. But we have that cold front that'll be moving in. That'll start to pass through our area going into the early part of Monday morning, really through Monday morning, and then just continuing to move through throughout the rest of the day. That cooler and drier air will be flowing in behind that, which will help our temperatures and dew points to be going down next week. So it'll feel nice and comfortable. Rain chances still aren't too high within the next week, so we'll still be looking at these drought conditions to continue only looking at about hundreds of an inch and that's mainly outside of Baton Rouge just seeing that closer to the coast and more so near new roads but again still staying dry for us now there's nothing in the Gulf as of now keeping an eye on this area of low pressure in the Caribbean but that has low chances of formation within the next week now just to recap we we'll look at your seven day forecast high staying in the upper 80s through Sunday upper 70s on Monday then looking at temps in the 60s for Halloween through the end of next week 